guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we're going to be talking about the Team of the Week players uh, that are now available. Uh, we'll be going through the lower tier ones and then getting to the Dak Prescott here. But first of all, I wanted to start this off by asking the question, when are we getting a new Man of the Month? If anyone knows, please let me know because I'm interested because this is the Man of the Month for launch, which would make me assume it's the Man of the Month for August, which means we should get a Man of the Month for September, but it's September 5th and we don't have a man of the month yet. So I'm not sure if they're going to wait until complete, like we're not going to get a new man of the month until the beginning of October. I thought we'd maybe get a preseason man of the month, uh, but we haven't gotten that yet. And it's September 5th, so who knows? Uh, but I'm interested to see when, if anyone knows, when we'll be getting a new man of the month card. But let's get into this the new team of the week these are the first teams of the weeks uh, so we get to see how it's going to work this year and it's uh the preseason team of the week so we'll start out here with the uh game of the weeks and team of the week exchanges so you can exchange a player item and a gold badge to earn a random gold team of the week player not necessarily worth it unless one of these gold team of the week players ends up being extremely cheap no real reason to do that and then any Game of the Week collectible, same thing with this. But silver badges tend to be a little bit cheaper, so it may be worth it if there's one expensive Game of the Week uh, exchange. So here are the t or the Games of the Weeks. Uh, Kansas City, LA, Baltimore, Indy, uh, Jets, and the Redskins, Bengals, Jaguars, and Patriots, Panthers. I think these things are going for not too many coins going for about 5k i think they're going for around 5k each so not bad price on oh okay well the baltimore indie one is a little bit more expensive i don't know why these would sell because i don't think they will give they're not going to give you anything crazy because it's just a random oh wait, wait, wait. team of the week player ra oh wait, 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 wait does this mean you could get could you get dak prescott or um, you can't get Von Bell, but he's for the collection. Does that mean you could, you could get technically Dak, Dak Prescott out of doing this set? That's the only reason I can see that this set is still this expensive to do. It's like 30k to do. Okay, never mind. This one is worth a ton. Eight, okay, so the Panthers, Patriots, and then the... Actually, it's just really the it's just the Panthers Patriots. Was it wasn't there? Or no, this one was like 8k. So you know what? For the heck of it, for some fun, I think I have a silver badge sitting in my reserves. Let's just go ahead and buy this for 5,000, and let's go ahead and see what. Uh, let's go ahead and try to just trade this in, and then see if we can pull one of the good collectibles. There we go. Game of the week exchange. I do have a silver badge. All right, let's see if we can pull the good one. We want the Patriots Panthers collectible. And we got the Jets. Is that the one I. We got the Jets Redskins. That's not the one I put in, but we got the Jets Redskins. I almost want to do it here right into this. I do have another. I do have another. Okay, let's just do this again. Another silver badge. Let's put the collectible. The silver badges are like 800 coins, so why not try this at least? I'm never going to sell them, so. All right, there we go. Panthers. Panthers Patriots collectible. That's what I'm talking about. Complete luck there. I'm extremely happy with that. I actually have more silver badges. I could keep doing this. Maybe I'll keep doing that. See if I can get uh, the ones that are expensive. And then maybe I'll hit you guys with a video later on tonight of me doing this set. I highly... There's like a 1 in 500 chance I get Dak Prescott. But I really want the Dak Prescott. So who knows. Maybe we'll, we'll give it a go. But we have... Derrick Henry, Trey Flowers, Will Fuller, uh, Nolan Carroll, and A.J. McCarron as our five cards. I think really only three of them are really usable for most people. I don't think Nolan Carroll or A.J. McCarron, but we'll look at their stats. But let's start. We'll start out with A.J. McCarron because he's the lowest rated card that we got. And he's currently going for 7,400 coins. He's got 75 speeds, 78 awareness, 84 throw power. 86 throw accuracy short, 84 throw accuracy mid, 79 throw accuracy deep, 79 play action, and 81. Is that throw on the run? Yeah, throw on the run. 
So not a horrible card. Not actually a, that's actually a pretty good 78 overall, but for 7-5, pretty much, I think I can do better than this AJ McCarron. But this isn't a bad card as I look at it. Not horrible. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep them, or I'll do the math in my head, and I'll tell you guys how much it'll cost to get this Von Bell right now. Uh, remember, all these prices, I guess, are Xbox, so keep that in mind. The Nolan Carroll going for 7,500 too, so we're at 15,000. He's got 89 speed, 89 excel, 87 agility, 83 man, 80 zone. Man and zone are a little low. Press is decent at 83. 79 play rec and 66 catch. Not a horrible cornerback. Actually, not too bad for 79 overall. 75k once again, or 7,500 uh, is a lot to pay for a 79 overall corner. I'm not sure I'd fork that over to add Nolan Carroll to my team. Will Fuller, I'm interested to see what his speed is, so let's go ahead and check this out. He's 10k currently, bringing it to 25,000. Uh, he's got 91 speed, which is really nice. 84 catch, 82 elusiveness, 86 spec catch, 82 release, 81 route running, 81 catch in traffic, and 85 jumping. So this card may actually be worth picking up 81 overall. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, higher price because it's a team of the week item. I'd probably wait until the set expires to go ahead and pick up your Will Fuller. Uh, because once the set expires, he should drop on down probably to like 6k or something like that. Not a bad price for this Will Fuller. Actually a pretty decent card. Next is a Trey Flowers. Actually a card I was thinking about picking up. But I think he's a little more than I'd want to pay for a backup right end. Uh, but Trey Flowers going for about 8,000 coins. So we're up to 30 3,000, 33,000 for the set at this moment. He's got 80 speed, 88 strength, 87 excel, 87 tackle, 86 block shed, 86 power move, 69 finesse, and 80 play rec. So not horrible stats, but nothing too impressive, uh, but is a pretty decent card. Uh, one that I probably will end up eventually adding as my backup right end. And then finally, Derrick Henry, an 84 overall halfback. He's going to be the expensive one, going for about 28k, so we're looking at 62k for the Von Bell, I think, if my math is correct, just about 62k for the Von Bell, uh, 84 overall halfback, like I said, uh, he's got 88 speed, 85 agility, 91 excel, 89 carry, 91 ball carry vision, 79 elusiveness, 92 trucking, and 85 juke move. I want to check out his catching, 60 catching, not very good catching, but Still could probably serve as a as a catch or a, uh, a receiving back, but probably not what you're going to want to do with him. But not a halfback card that Derrick Henry is not bad at all. But let's go take a look at the big boys now. We've got uh, the Will, or we got the Von Bell and the Dak Prescott. Prescott is the card I really want to get, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to or if I'll be willing to spend the money to get him. I don't think I will be willing to spend it, but we'll see here as time goes on. So let's start off with the Von Bell. I'll just go ahead and go 85 to 89. I know Von Bell will be the cheapest. Von Bell going for 61,500 coins at the moment. He's an 87 overall free safety with 88 speed, 88 excel, 82 play rec, 87 tackle, 82 man, 83 zone, 89 pursuit, and 86 hit power. Actually a really nice uh, free safety here. What is his catching looking like? He's got 76 catching, so he's able to make interceptions. Should be able to make them pretty easily. Uh, so this is a really nice uh, free safety. 61,000, though, is a little... Actually, that seems about appropriate because if we go ahead and look at other free safeties around the same overall, we're going to see about probably this, around the same price range. So not him or the 87s. Yeah, see, so 87 Glover Quinn Signature is going for 40k. 88 Reggie Nelson's going for 47 is there actually any other 87 free safeties? No, but Tyron Matthew is going for the same price as Von Bell. So just kind of preference on what free safety you want to get. Uh, so that's not a horrible price on that Von Bell. Uh, let's go ahead and now take a look at the kind of prize of the preseason team of the week. And really the only card that I'm interested in, which is the Dak Prescott. So let's go ahead and take a look at this card. Going for 300 k at the moment. Uh, an 88 overall quarterback limited for 48 hours in packs. 
Uh, he's got 83 speed, 80 awareness, 91 throw power, uh, 89 throw accuracy short, 84 throw accuracy mid, 87 throw accuracy deep, 82 play action, and 90 throw on the run. So a really solid card. Nowhere near 300k. I don't even know if I pulled this guy out of a pack if I'd be able to sit there and actually keep him. For 300k, that's just crazy. I don't know if I could... I think I'd have to sell the Dak Prescott if I if I got him. I don't think I I could I could justify keeping him for 300k. It's just such a high price tag. I don't think I can do it. Uh, but guys, that is the team of the week cards for the week. Uh, let me let me uh, know if you guys wanted to pick up the Dak Prescott and if any of you did actually pick up the Dak Prescott. Let me know how he plays uh, so I can get a better idea if I want to get him. I don't think it's worth it honestly for 300k. The upgrade over Alex Smith, I just don't think is worth it, but who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe, I might actually just pick him up and then sell him and take a little bit of the uh, the hit the, the hit to my uh, coins, like 20 or 30k. I would take hit on my coins for buying him, but we'll see. I might actually rip some packs tomorrow uh, for my uh, birthday. My birthday is actually today, but I'd, I'll rip the packs tomorrow, uh, and so I might do that. If I pulled him out of that, I'd probably keep him for a little while and use him, but We'll have to wait and see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. We may be back with uh, completing these sets if I'm able to, you know, finagle some of the collectibles for cheap. I may do some of these preseason team of the week upgrades, see if I can maybe get the, uh, pull the Dak Prescott, and then I'll probably go ahead and snipe all of these and get this Von Bell collection done for maybe under 50k, make a little bit of profit off of it, and then call it a day on that set, but I'll show you guys the completion of that set, uh, but I don't know if there'll be any more videos tonight, but keep in mind that there might be, and I hope you guys enjoyed, catch you guys later, peace out.